Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be looking at using flow code to talk to an accelerometer device. Here on my panel you can see I've got several components connected up. So I have a MPU 6050 accelerometer. I have then linked this to an injector, an I squared C injector. And then I forwarded this to uh, an Arduino Uno running the SCADA Slave firmware. If I bring up my um, web camera, you can see I've just got my Arduino Uno connected and it's just wired up to my MPU 6050 accelerometer device. Now the firmware for the Arduino is available on our wiki site, so it's flowcode.co.uk slash wiki. It's available on the SCADA Arduino Uno page, and if you see if you scroll down a little bit, um, we have here a zip file containing the firmware, as well as the flowcode embedded project file and the flowcode component source, um, if you want it to dig a bit deeper, see how it's put together and uh, maybe make your own modifications. So here we have quite a simple pro program. Um, if I just take this out of the way for a minute. So I'm initializing um, the accelerometer device. I'm clearing my graph and then I'm entering a loop where every 50 milliseconds I get the XYZ. So there's a little macro that samples a device and it gets the XYZ of the accelerometer as well as the XYZ of the gyro and basically converts the accelerometer readings into uh, acceleration in, in G and the XYZ of the gyro into uh, degrees per second. Go back to my main, I then plot XYZ which basically takes the accelerometer values and puts them onto the graph. You can see I have um, disabled uh, the gyroscope values but you could you could print these to the graph as well. You might want two separate graphs if you want them both at the same time and um, because they're on quite different scales and um, the, the gyroscope tends to drown out the accelerometer a bit because this is just going between 0 and 2 whereas this goes between 0 and 250. Um, or you could have a graph with um, multiple scales, so a scale on the left and a scale on the right. Uh, going back to main, then the last macro um, is a plot 3D function. And what this does is it it works out the roll and the pitch for the accelerometer. It then does the same for the gyro, and then it tries to combine them together. Um, so let's see this in practice. I drag on my 2D panel and run the program. You can see if I bring back my web camera and move it out of the way slightly. You can see as I as I move this, my XYZ values on the graph are changing and the values on the component slider changing. If I then bring on my 3D panel and bring the camera back up, you can see that um, I have the accelerometer on the left which measures acceleration but it's very accurate. I have the gyro in the middle which will drift over time uh, but is um, immune to acceleration, it just monitors the um, the roll and the pitch. And then I have a combination which um, aims to take the best of both worlds, so it takes the accuracy of the accelerometer and the immunity to rotation of the gyro um, to give you a combined uh, version of the of the two readings. 
So I've done this in Flowcode App Developer. Um, and what this kind of shows is the the power of taking a, a library of uh, communications such as the MPU 6050, combining this with the SCADA slave to have an embedded device talking to an embedded sensor, um, and then um, having the ability to have all the data flow into flow code, allow you to monitor, tweak things, get it all up and running, and then obviously you can keep it in app developer or you can push some of it into your Arduino embedded device and have have this doing all the number crunching and then just sending the values to, of the filtered combo version up to flow code or even doing your own thing like a, a quadricopter. It just allows you to be sure that the values you're going to be using in, the, in your real world application are going to be absolutely on the nose and spot on. Now for interest, if you look at the view consoles and the Arduino SCADA tab, you can see all the various I squared C communications throughout that entire transaction. You can see that we initialized the board, we initialized the I squared C and then broken down into the various subsections of start, send, restart, send, receive. So all the various I squared C uh, communications can be can be seen completely uh, transparent to the operation. So I hope this has been useful. Um, I've been Ben Rowland. This has been Flow Code Version Nine.